Hi everybody, Colleen here with Colleen Beauty and Fashion. I'm really excited for today. We're gonna to do an eyeshadow demonstration with the Essence Eyeshadow Palette Ice Ice Baby. I promised this quite a while ago. Um, I've already done three of them in my past videos. I did the Dancing Green in the introduction to my channel, which was Welcome to My Channel. And I did a special one on the I Like to Move It. I did it all by itself. And then I believe I did another one in a Get Ready With Me, which is the Taupe Palette, which is another favorite of mine. But I do love this Ice Ice Baby, which is what we're going to do today. Look at, I've worn it out because I love it. And it's even sadder inside because I'm hitting pan on some of the shades you can see. But that's a testament to me of how great it is. Um, these little Essence Eyeshadow Palettes, and I've got them all now. Um, are really really great quality for the price and so here's the one I did I like to move it so we've done that one here's dancing green done that one and here's the taupe one I've done for you already look worn out so I have four left five left five left to do so is that right I guess so so I'm going to start with the one that I've had the longest, which is the Ice Ice Baby, but I'm coming up, I'm also going to do the rest of them, which is the Nude Palette, and also the one called Coral Me Maybe, which I just got my hands on. This one was really hard to find because it was always sold out, so that one's brand new to me. And the Bronze This Way, and the my rose will go on if you have one you're dying to see me do please make mention in the comments and let me know and i will get to all of them but today we're going to start with ice ice baby so what i love about these palettes is they are so affordable they're a little bit tricky to find sometimes they are a european brand and i know there is a website and um dot com website so you can buy them on the website. In Canada here, we have the Matt Shoppers Drug Mart. If you are in the United States and you know where you can walk into the store and buy them, would you let me know in the comments? Because I'm not sure about the situation in the US. And of course, they're available all over Europe. But what I love about them is the quality for the price. I'm sorry I'm flashing the mirror at you, but that's what I want you to see. There's a great little mirror in here and six great shades. There's usually a combination of mattes and shimmers, and this one even has that really, I don't know if you call it a press glimmer, but it's a very glamorous shade for sure, and I am gonna use it today. But we're gonna start with the lightest shade, which is kind of a gray, dove gray, I would call it, this one right here. Sorry, I shouldn't flash the mirror at you, I know. The dove gray right here, that's where we're gonna to start today. I'm going to use the dove gray color as my transition shade. And if you've seen me do this before, you know this is pretty typical of how I do my eyeshadow in the mirror with the little palette. In the video I did yesterday, the Mother's Day video, I mentioned a mirror that I'd asked for on my Mother's Day wish list, which is a big lighted makeup mirror, which would sit right here so I could look over here and do my makeup and still kind of be, you know, with you. But as it is right now, this is what I'm doing and it's worked okay so far so this is a transition shade right into the crease kind of a back and forth motion if you have hooded eyes like I do and small eyes you want to make sure to get some color into the hood right there right I'm very excited I have some brushes coming from BK Beauty that are designed specifically for small hooded eyes and I will put the link down in the description box for you but I'm very excited to get them because I think for me it's going to really make a difference and if you have small hooded eyes like me you might want to consider it because I find a lot of the brushes are just too big so there we go that's the transition shade so I'm a little bit torn on what to do next. Let me show you why I'm torn. I gotta put my glasses on. I like this shade for the inner corner. It's pretty glittery though. And I like the blue for the inner corner and then do the gray on the end. 
for the shimmer or the other way around. So you can see even with this small palette from Essence, there's choices. You don't always have to do the same look. So I think I'm going to put the blue in my inner corner and then put the this color in the outer corner. Let's see how that works. Okay, so here we go with the blue. I'm going to choose the lighter blue. And if you've watched my channel at all, you know that I'm not afraid of color. I actually quite like it. And I'm not of the mindset that once you get to a certain age, you have to follow certain rules about how you dress or what kind of makeup you wear or any of that. No, not for me. <laughs> Such a rebel. No, but seriously, I think you should do what makes you feel beautiful. So if you don't like color, great, don't do color. But I like color and I'm not going to listen to anybody who is going to tell me that I can't wear color or glitter because I've hit a certain number on the calendar. So if you have any thoughts about that, please share them in the comments. And I think, you know, as modern mature women, we've been through so much in our lifetimes about trying to get our femininity recognized as powerful as it is. You know, we've got strength as, as females, so um, why we would ever bend to some silly rules about color and fashion and what we can and can't wear, it's beyond me. Anyway, enough of my soapbox. So there we have the blue shade in the corner there, and I'm going to take my little tapping brush. I call it my tapping brush because I like to put the color on and then tap the color into the corners. So here we go. Now I mentioned with the hood, you want to make sure you get some color up on that hoodie droopy part. Okay, like that. And over on the other side. This palette, all of these essence palettes are very good as far as not having fallout. They have a little bit, some of the shades have a little bit, but honestly, some of the more expensive palettes that I've um, experienced lately have more fallout. So I wouldn't complain about the fallout with these palettes for sure. They're very high quality for the price in really great colors. So I kind of try and make sure that I'm even. But if you've watched any of my eyeshadow demonstrations before, you know that at the end we go back and we blend everything in, in, and up, up, and in. And uh, that blends everything together. So it may look scary right now, but it'll all work out in the end, I promise. So again, another decision, the light silver or the dark silver. Oh, sorry, move the mirror. You can see I've used this dark silver quite a bit. I think I'm going to use the light silver today and I'm going to use my finger to put it on right in the middle of my eyelid above the iris. And that gives us some lift to our eye, which is helpful. There, can you see that? It just kind of lifts everything up. So. And you can always go back again after you put your eyeliner or what you know blended the process the, you know and blended everything you can go back and put more of this on in the middle and i quite often do that so because i like it to look nice and bright there we go so now like i said i'm going to blend everything and this is how i do it you might do it this way or you might come up with your own technique, but, oh, I've got some fallout here. Let me just get that. Okay. So I take the transition brush and I go back in and I'm, especially this dark color in the corner, I want to move it in. We don't want to go down because going down into this corner here, especially on my eyes, because I've got a very deep corner here. Um, it just drags everything down. So we want to go up and in into that little crease area on both sides. OK, 
okay so what I do now is I go I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna put my concealer on and that helps me to make the line even on either side I use concealer to do that at the end helps correct everything helps everything stay in place so that's why I do it that way so I'm gonna go away and finish this look now put on the eyeliner and the mascara and everything put my concealer on like I mentioned and I will come back and show you the finished look for this evening I am going out so this is an evening look for me and if you're liking this video and the content that I have on my channel, have a look around and please consider subscribing. Um, we're building a community of fabulous women from all over the world and I'm getting more and more subscribers and I'm thrilled to death with that. So I'm so happy that you're all coming on board and please let me know if there's something you want to see me do. Don't be shy. Put a comment in the comments and I'm happy to respond or maybe somebody else will respond to you. So it's all about being community. Thanks. Okay, so here we go. Here's the finished look for today with the ice ice baby on my eyes. Let me take off my glasses and show you. So here we go. Now, what I love about these Essence eyeshadow palettes too is they tend to melt in and blend and, and stay perfectly in place and just be beautiful for a very, very long time. They're very long wearing. So I really, really, two thumbs up from me. And there isn't one that I haven't liked. I've liked all of them. So I have a few left to do. So why don't you tell me in the comments which one you want to see next. Rose is new and nude is new so those are the two newest ones to me this is the newest one because i've been waiting so long to pick it up and then we also have that's coral what's it called coral me maybe and this one is called bronze this way which i also have to do so i have four left if you have an opinion share it down in the comments so here's bonnie to say goodbye as we always do at the end of mummy's videos right right what do you think? Hmm? She doesn't think much. I'm thinking about this. What do you think? This is stone with satin. I thought it would be interesting. I like it. Anyway, we're going to say bye-bye now. Thanks so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and join us. And Bonnie's going to say bye-bye to the people. Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye, people. Okay, bye-bye now.